Hello, thank you for watching this video. Uh, recently, there are some customers whose power supply does not work normally. Some customers want to order the power board directly to replace the damaged power board. Uh, but actually, before you do that, you can contact us first to see if it is necessary to do it. Because sometimes, only the fuse is burned. Uh, the no need to replace the whole power board. Uh, for the power supplies from these customers, they are RK6006, uh, DPS 5020, uh, 5015, and uh, RD6006, RD6024. They all does not work normally after charging battery. Of course, these power supplies can all charge battery, but you need to use them in the correct way. For RD series power supply, yeah. you can see here it is a battery charging terminal. Maybe it is color reason that some customers may cheat it as ground terminal so that they do not use it for battery charging, but actually it is used to charge battery. Of course, if you want to use a red terminal as output positive, uh, there is no problem as long as you connect the battery in the right way, but uh, it will not have the reverse protection, cutoff current setting, cutoff temperature setting of this battery charging terminal. If you connect the battery in the wrong way and turn on the output, the output fuse will be burned immediately. For RK6006 and the DPS1515, uh, it's just like this. They are same because there is only two output terminals. There is no battery charging terminal. So that you need to be careful before you turn on the output for the battery charging. Okay, now since the uh, device output fuse is already burned, uh, you can check it in. You can check it in this way. If the device can still be powered on, only the output does not work normally. The display still works. Ah. Uh, it is not burned badly. You can check the output fuse first. For RD series and RK series power supply, there is a backup fuse in the uh, box. You can use it to replace the output fuse, uh, see if the power supply works again. For RD6006 and RD6006 plus, uh, you can check this picture. Uh, just take the output fuse out and uh, insert the backup fuse. Check if the device works again. But for other RD series power supply, which output fuse is over 10 MPa, you can check it here. This is the output fuse. This is the output fuse socket. You can insert the fuse into this socket for test, but the test can only be allowed to use the current under 10 MP. If you want to repair it, you still need to disassemble this bad burn fuse and uh, solder the good fuse to this point again. Okay, this socket is only for test. For our key series power supply, uh, because it is so compact, you can check this picture. Uh, when the output fuse is burned, insert the fuse to the socket next to the output fuse, and it is okay. Uh, because it is hardly, it is hard to replace the uh, fuse. For DPS series power supply, uh, this is DPS fifty fifteen. The output the output fuse is between the terminal so that you 
can replace it to see if the device works. But uh, for DPS series power supply, we do not have backup fuse. Uh, and uh, the design has changed before. So that you need to take a picture of this part of this part and show us the fuse we use and we will tell you the fuse uh, name and the value.